Hello and welcome to another series at Aconsys. This time we are going to talk about server performance benchmarks. And in this specific case, we are going to talk about the uh, performance of different frameworks. So, we already have a repository for the different um, frameworks. In this repository, we already covered a few different frameworks and the application is actually pretty simple. It's trying to replicate um, a BFF, a backend for frontend. Pretty simple. And with this, this is going to, uh, it only has a few endpoints that we can call. It has a few get calls, a post call and two delete calls. And if you don't know what the BFF is, then I have a little image for you. So a BFF, a backend for frontend is basically a service that will pass along messages from different clients to different services. And it tries to do this for each client individually. And it also tries to get the load off the BFF of the backend for frontend into the service and then send it back to the client as fast as possible. So the heavy load will actually not happen on the BFF itself, but it will actually happen in the service. This could be some kind of database or some kind of other service that needs to accumulate more data. But uh, yeah, the base idea is to have one point where you call which you call and then this service will then actually do all the heavy work and get it done by something else in behind it. You can here already see my plan for this series. So uh, today is going to be introduction. And with that, I will uh, introduce you a little bit to the server benchmarks we already created, to the setup a little bit. And I want to do this in Swift and especially in a little framework called Hummingbird. And so I will show you a little bit around for the first session today. The application we are actually writing is a bookstore. We can get different books from a list. We can get a specific books, book by ID, and we can, of course, post books, which means we can create them. And afterwards, to clean it up, we can also delete single books or all of them. And as you can see here, we already have a few different frameworks that are in. We have Spring Boot, we have uh, Rocket RS, which is based, uh, which is written in uh, Rust. Then we have a few Quarkus instances. We have Nest, JS, and Actix. And I think this one is also written in Rust. We are looking for um, implementation in Go, but for now, this is it. We're using Terraform and we also have a few actions. So if you want to add another framework that you want to also test, then you're more than welcome to use this. And uh, this is of course in the official Aconsus repository at GitHub. And with that, let's uh, talk a little bit about the project, the framework I'm going to use. So I'm going to use Hummingbird, which is a Swift-based framework. This is a lightweight, um, flexible, modern server framework written in Swift. Uh, it's a direct competitive or it's a competitor to Vapor, which is uh, pretty much all you uh, want to have. But uh, I would really like to do this in Hummingbird because you have to get a little bit more hands on. So this should be pretty good. Okay. And uh, Hummingbird is the one thing I have to use. There's uh, another framework I have to use for this, and this is uh, a Swift argument parser. This is only a small part of the whole pro project, but it's uh, pretty nice to have this also in. If you're not familiar with it, this is basically the command line um, entry point for all the Swift programs. And it's pretty easy, self-explanatory, and we'll get into this later on. So for today, that's it. I gave you a little introduction on the server-side Swift uh, framework I'm going to use. Also gave you a little introduction into the uh, performance test we're going to run. 
and uh, showed you a little bit around what uh, BFF or backend for frontend is. With that, wish you a wonderful day. See you later.